Okay, round number three against Quicksilver one. Maybe I'll actually earn one of these wins at some point. Uh, probably just gonna jam Zombie Titan and Totem Bomb and Berserker in front of whatever creature he plays, because I'm not messing around. I, have, I just have no better plays. I could play the Zithian Hulk. Uh, 4, 7, 8, 11 is not actually that bad. Yeah, let's play the Zithian Hulk in front of that. That bad boy. This card's quite good. If he plays in a formation next rank, I'm going to be in trouble. I could Chaos Twister it, but I need to level creatures more than I need to level Chaos Twister. Uh, the problem with leveling, using your removal spells instead of your creatures as blockers, or as, to, as removal, is that in rank 2, drawing level 2 creatures is way better than drawing level 2 spells. Level 2 spells don't provide any board presence, uh, but level 2 creatures do. Uh, what am I playing this turn? Probably Fleshling Titan. I like the art on this card a lot, especially in rank 2. Reminds me of Frosty the Snowman. Even though he's supposed to be a wind giant. I guess he's covered in clouds. Yeah, makes sense. Anyway. Let's see what my opponent's got for me. Must be thinking. I actually played against this Quicksilver guy a lot. And I don't remember how good or bad he is, which, yeah, it's not that surprising. <laughs> my memory is not the best. Oh, well, that's going to be really hard to deal with. Uh, I'm going to jam... Flush Fiend in front of it, and then play Cloud Cleaver Titan to follow up with the kill if he chooses to, you know, ignore it or something. Though if he shrinks Cloud Cleaver Titan, that's pretty bad for me too. <clears throat> He'll probably shrink the Flush Fiend because it gives minus four, uh, which makes his Anixium Marauder live because that'll only do two four damage to it. How much part does that rank three? Oh, it's only got two for six, so I'm definitely gonna level this Grim Weaver Witch because it's really important to kill this card. Uh, this the, the Grim Weaver Witch is one four seven, so even though I don't kill it this turn, I can kill it next turn or next rank, I mean. And then probably playing the Cauldron Mystic. Yeah, no surprise. He, he uses the uh, the Flesh Fiend to decrease its power. So let's play that there, then play. Cauldron Mystic over here, because I don't want to block with Cauldron Mystic, and then go to block the... get. I need to get 5 damage on this. 2 damage is not that much, uh, especially if I get the damage on the uh, Cauldron Mystic on it. That's pretty nice, because now he... it'll be at 1, so he, I could have killed it with a dog if I draw on it, because uh, it'll take 5 this turn. If you give it my creature minus 4, it would be 1 power, then it would, you know... But honestly, he's just given my Cloud Cleaver Titan minus 4 power, except the Phantasm is dead, and move on. People rarely do this, but, but uh, I think this is the correct play in this instance. <laughs> what I'm going to do is play the Instigator and then the Warhound Raider to block the 5-3 uh, the over here. Oh, that's a really good card. Yeah, yeah, you definitely, definitely debuff the Cloud Cleaver Titan. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this does 2 damage, right? So I can see if the uh, Phantasm dies first by playing the, the Instigator. Like, he could have saved his 4-7 instead of saving his 2-2. Two -two. Like, that's a no-brainer to me. So oh, the Phantasm takes 2 damage, so he didn't even kill the, the Titan. And I'm going to play... I said I was going to play Raider, but Cloud Leader Titan's better to play if the uh, creature doesn't live. And since neither creature will live, uh, might as well just play the Titan. This moves me with a 3-7 and a 1-1 one, one in play. Or 3-5 and a 1-1 one, one in play. It would have been nice to do the 2 damage to the general so that it would die next turn, but... Whatever. I can play Flesh Fiend, uh, Rot Fiend this turn. Just hope to play really, really big creatures every turn. And my opponent runs out of gas. I can't really afford for this to go late since he has the Phantasm. It's going to be really hard to get one late game if I don't draw that Glimmer for which I leveled. Uh, pretty hard to deal with card. I think I'm just going to ignore it for now. It cools my Cauldron Mystic. That's interesting. Uh, it's got only 8 toughness, which is not that much. I actually can throw Flesh Fiend in front of it. Or I can block it with one of my two Cloud Cleaver Titans. Or the Glimmer for which. Or 
or that's it. Or the, uh, I guess, or the Cauldron Mystic, but yeah, probably not blocking it with that one. I'm just going to play Flesh Fiend and Rot Fiend in open lane. Or actually, Aether Tap? No, no, Rot Fiend. Rot Fiend's a 12 13 rank 3, which is a really good blocker. And he has a, a leveled Forge Guardian Beta 3 in his deck, so I need all the power I can get. Should not have put it in the side lane, though. That was quite silly of me. I just like blocked my zombie titan for no reason. Hopefully he blocks it. <laughs> that would be nice. Especially with something zombie titan can kill. The timer is so short now. I swear it used to be like a minute and a half, but now it's like 30 seconds. It's... I mean, I don't care. I, you see my time right here. I usually play all my turns within 30 seconds or like 60 seconds. But it's it seems to be affecting my opponents a lot. Okay, so he gets a peek at my hand, which means that he realized that killing my Rot Fiend just turns on my Zombie Titan then jams a Blight Walker in front of the Flesh Fiend, which actually trades. Uh, so definitely killing this 811, or using Zithian Hulk to kill the 811, then playing Zombie Titan in a side lane. Combat... And Zombie Titan is a 10-10 over here. I mean, to be fair for him, this is actually a pretty good trade for him too, the Blightwalker Flesh Fiend thing, because he gets extra... He, he kills two cards for one, essentially. Uh, Gloomer Forge is also very good against Blightwalker. I really hope he plays the Phantasm this turn, because this, this is my Gloomer for a turn. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's see some... It's such a good block on this... Zithian Hulk too, because the 412. Look, look at that value. It it lives. It's got Regen too. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like it. I think you would have slammed it if you had it. Yeah, well, I can kill the Ordnance Captain. That's value. Uh, play the. I'll just ignore the. I don't have to ignore it actually. My guy's got mobility. So let's play the Gloom Reaper Rich to kill the Ordnance Captain. And then go to combat, hit him for 8, and then play Call Clear Titan to finish off the Rock Fiend. And I drew the other Titan. That's nice. I didn't draw the Cauldron Mystic, but I think that's the only guy I didn't draw, right? Uh, Flame Rune Instigator is still fine in rank 2. 12 power is pretty good at rank 2. I like Cloud Cleaver Titan so much because it hits for 12. It's pretty decently sized. It's not great if you're blocking. But uh, with Mobility 3, you can get the... Mobility is extremely good. Like, it, it's easy to mistake how good it is because it's so few cards have it in this set. And Cloud Clear Titan is one of the ones it does. But what you can do is you can block a creature and then move it to block another creature. So you're getting two blocks, hopefully two kills. And I'm probably just great factoring that card. Actually, it dies, right? 9, it recovers 2, then 9 again. So that, that's not even that good of a <laughs> trade for him. I don't know why he blocked. Oh, no, 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 I see. Because he uh, he would just shrink its power so that it lives. Well, I'm not going to have any of that. I'm just going to Grave Pack it. Uh, level up my Grave Pack so I can deal with it later, too. Let's put Cloud Cleaver here and Cloud Cleaver here. That way I can cover all the lanes and then Grave Pack my Witch onto his Phantasm. Okay, now we have Board Control. He has the first turn on level 3, which means he can play a bunch of level 3 spells. But hopefully he just won't have any. And I get a Cauldron Mystic. He did play, he did miss a lot last turn. He played an Ordnance Captain, an Orient Just card that were both level 1. I, he had a Rot Fiend, which I'm not too worried about. Uh, once it gets to rank 3, it's really good as a uh, empty lane threat, a 2020 when you have to block. But as a blocker, it's not too hot. And I'm Okay, so yeah, so there's the Ordnance Captain, which does block Cloud Clear Titans successfully, but yeah, what doesn't? Cloud Clear Titans not known for his fighting prowess. And then Phalanx Squadrons, not even a card I saw last time. I can just move it out of the way. I can move both my Titans out of the way, put Cauldron Mystic in front of the Ordnance Captain, and actually just hope the, uh, the Cauldron Mystic finishes and I get that guy off. Because uh, I'm going to play the Zombie Titan here. And the Cauldron Mystic can hit either of these cards, and it will kill the Ordnance Captain if it hits the Ordnance Captain. Sick. Okay, so Zombie Titans is 16-16. I've got a Mobility 2-12-10, which covers these three lanes over here. 
Uh, Flush Fiend's going to be really good, and I can Grave Pact maybe Flush Fiend <laughs> uh, if you play something really problematic. I could also Flush, I could also Grave Pact the Cauldron Mystic. This card's really small. 510 is really, really small for a rank 2. Uh, the other 510 that's a rank 2 card is uh, what, Shimmerfang Serpent? Now that card poisons whatever it deals damage to. Cauldron Mystic does not poison, it just deals damage whenever I play cards. So, you know, not quite as good on the uh, pure combat scale, but a lot better with the board control scale. And again, it kind of depends on what you need it for. Shimmerfang Serpent's really good at dealing with one creature. Cauldron Mystic can pick up a bunch of really damaged creatures. Oh, there's that card I didn't want him to play. Luckily, Flesh Fiend actually kills that card uh, by itself. Uh, because that's 22 toughness and flushing does 26 damage. And this would be a super good a uh, Chaos Twister hand. Hopefully I get the 2 damage on the the 12 one. Or the 3 damage. Sick. And then I'll just play Mongazor in front of the... I could kill the, the guy and have a Flesh Fiend and a Zombie Knight in play. Is that better than playing Stampeding Mongosaur? Probably. This Cauldron Mystic's probably done all he's gonna do. So let's go ahead and just... Trading Cauldron Mystic, a level 2 Cauldron Mystic for a level 3 thing and a Grave Pact is way better than trading a Flesh Fiend for his level 3 card. Because I'm trading like 3 Flesh Fiends for that. Then I get my level 3 cards. He does not. He, he's drawing really poorly. I actually feel for him. Because this has been uh, the last draft I did, I think, that I recorded. I, I had some pretty bad draws, and it hurt, man. Sometimes you just have games like that, and it sucks, but just try to win as many as you can. Uh, what do I want to do here? I can block his level 1 creatures, so I think I'm going to do that. I want to I, I wanna block the Barrier Soldier especially, because it prevents my guy from dealing damage. And sure, I'll play the dog. <laughs> Ooh, level th another Cloud Flavor Titan. This card's 18 damage with mobility 3. It's really hard to block, too. Uh, because, you know, mobility 3. Uh, he's actually dead, right? 16 plus 12 is 28. He's at 28. Uh, so he, he's go to, he goes to 4 after combat. If he doesn't block anything. So there's a Phantasm. I don't have the Glimmer for Witch this turn. But I can Virix embrace it, and I think it dies, right? Because it would go to 9? 7 plus 4 is 11. The Virix embrace would... Oh, no, no, my Flesh Fiend didn't even die. Jeez. Okay, so he's just dead to uh, the cards I have on the board. So there's no reason to even think about that. Sweet. Actually, you know, didn't deserve that win either. Maybe I'll get a win I deserve eventually, but... <laughs> For now, I... I'll take the free ones.